And we are following breaking news this morning. A deputy has been shot in Rancho Cucamonga. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine is live outside of Pomona Hospital where the wounded deputy is being treated. Tina, I understand that a news conference just wrapped up. It just wrapped up. The sheriff here giving us uh, detailed information on what happened. Uh, we are here at Pomona Valley Hospital because a deputy was shot just around midnight last night, and the deputy is here. We have just found out his condition is stable. That is the news to report. This also comes, I want to point out that the suspect that they were trying to arrest at the time is in custody, and no uh, further problems have occurred. Let me back up a, a little bit by giving you some history on what has happened from what we have just learned around midnight last night. Uh, deputies were uh, called because somebody in the neighborhood uh, living in Rancho Cucamonga on Sycamore Court called in because they noticed that there was a car, a suspicious vehicle that had been there for several hours. Nobody in the neighborhood had recognized, so they called uh, the, the uh, sheriff's department to report it. This deputy then responded and came out to the neighborhood. I uh, do want to point out that here in, uh, in the San Bernardino County area, they do respond with only one deputy in each vehicle. So the deputy was alone at the time uh, and then approached the car that the neighbors were reporting was suspicious. And in that car um, was the suspect. He was also alone, according to what we have learned now from the sheriff. Uh, and when the deputy was asking for information, such as driver's license, registration, the typical things that they ask for, the suspect, we understand, pulled out a gun and fired two shots at the deputy. Both of those shots, we understand, did hit the deputy. And again, repeating, the deputy is in stable condition. Um, somewhere along that way, uh, at that point, the deputy then... Um, came and reached for his radio, called for backup help uh, for the uh, department, and they then rushed uh, the entire department as well as uh, neighboring departments, such as Ontario Police, uh, which then assisted with their helicopter and then transported the deputy here to this location at Pomona Valley Hospital. So at somewhere along that way, where the deputy is then now calling for help, the suspect apparently gets out of the car and starts to run. Uh, and they uh, eventually locate this suspect about a quarter of a mile away from the neighborhood where he was in that car. Now, some background information that I've also just learned by asking some questions from the uh, sheriff. I do understand that the suspect was on parole for a carjacking uh, that occurred somewhere in Northern California. And then when I asked for further information about the suspect's background, I have also now learned that he has an extensive, and I'm quoting the sheriff now, an extensive criminal history in the state of California. So again, Again, at this point, uh, I can tell you that the suspect is in custody, has a lengthy record, according to the sheriff, and the deputy that was shot twice was able to radio for help, got that help. Ontario PD uh, transported him here to this hospital, Pomona Valley Hospital, and the sheriff saying that he received well, good care and is in stable condition. So that is the very latest. Uh, reporting live from Pomona Valley Hospital this morning, I'm Tina Ezzedine. A lot of you. new Ladies, information. Any questions, I'm happy right to there. take them. All right. All right, Tina, thanks so much.